Hello everybody and welcome to a new Ross Questions and Answers video and in the video of today I'm going to be answering to this question I found here in Ross Answers which is a three finger gripper model for movie uh, gazebo uh, so yeah hi guys my idea is to work with a 3D model of a 3D finger gripper hand and with Ross change its states close opening okay so basically what uh, what Juan Tello wants is a uh, simulation of a three finger hand for using it in gazebo and for building a movie package and for working with with it in order to open the fingers close them etc okay so recently I, I have been working with one with a three finger model hand and I have created it from uh, this simulation here from the smart grasping sandbox from shadow robot so I'm going to show you how, how I did it, which is a very, very simple and fast process so that you can do it also. So yeah, let's go. I'm going to be using RDS as always. So first of all, let's go to the RDS website. And then here I'm going to create a new project here. So let's put here three finger hand for instance let's put it as well here three finger hand okay so I'm going to create my new project here great and now I'm going to launch my project there we are now let's just wait a few seconds and yeah, basically the first thing I'm going to do is to download this repo, which is, I don't know if, it's basically this here, yeah? It's the U, uh, Universal Robot, the 10 version, I think, with a hand here at the end, but I'm going to modify a little bit this uh, URDF file so that we just have the, the three-finger hand, okay? And you can use the three-finger hand or alone or with the arm or whatever you want okay so <clears throat> let's come here excellent I'm going to take out the notebook so basically here I'm going to come to the simulation workspace which is the workspace where I always put the simulations then let's open a new web shell here I'm going to to get this here so I'm going to go to the simulation workspace and I'm going to clone that repository there there we are excellent so now as you can see it will appear here this new repository I have just downloaded here we have it okay great now here I'm going to come to the FH desk package where it is where I'm going to do basically the modification. So I'm going to take this model.urdf and I'm going to create a copy of this one here. Let's paste it, uh, override original, now create duplicate, continue. And I'm going to call this one model hand urdf. Okay? And then I'm going to come inside here and I'm going to do a couple of modifications very very simple so basically I'm going to take out all everything that is related to the to the arm and I'm going to leave just the hand related stuff okay so basically from here I'm going to take out I'm going to just leave this link name world and I'm going to take out this uh, world joint here I'm going to take out the base link shoulder pan joint, shoulder link, all of this is related to the arm, okay? So I'm going to take out all of this. As you can see here, the, the meshes that is loading is from the UR10 arm, okay? So I'm going to take out all of this. I don't want it. The race 1, race 2, race 3 also goes out. A link, okay, the transmissions here related to the arm also go out and then okay there it is so here I start 
in the H1 base attach, the the things related to the hand start. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to delete all of these. There we are. Excellent. And then I need to delete one more thing, which is down here. Let me find it. <clears throat> Okay, here it is. I need to take out also this, which is the joint that connects the arm to the hand. Okay, so I'm going to also take out this. There we are. Excellent. And now all I will do, so I, I have now in this URDF file all the code that defines the hand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to add just a couple of lines here, I'm going to copy them because I have them right here in a moment and I'm going to now explain what this is, it's very simple. Okay, so here I have it, excellent. So basically I have added these three things. First of all, here under the world link I have added a new link which is called table, which basically is a, a small platform box sized a very very small platform with these dimensions okay both in visual and in collision it's a very very simple uh, let's say box platform where i will put the hand uh, above it yeah so basically it's uh, 0 per 6 x 0 per 0 0.6 y and 0 0.05 z okay so a very very small and simple box which will be the platform where I will place the hand, okay? Then I have a joint that connects the world link, yeah, to this table, and I have another joint that connects this table, this platform I have created, to the hand, yeah? It goes from the table link to the H1 base attach, which is this one here, link, yes, as you can see. So basically, what I have added here, I have added just a platform, a simple platform, and I have connected this platform to the world link and to the link of the base of the hand, okay? Very, very really simple, as you can see. So let's save this file, and I'm going to create here a new launch file. Let's create a copy of this, duplicate, there we are, and I'm going to rename this to, I don't know, launch hand, okay? Launch hand, there we are, excellent. So let's op open this launch hand, and I'm going to do a couple of modifications. Basically, I need to change all the references to model URDF, which was the initial one, to model hand URDF. So Let's go. Here I have one, so I'm going to put here model hand URDF. I have another one here, so I'm going to change this to model hand URDF. And I think I don't have more. I think this is all. So, now, okay, I'm going to comment also the world, so I'm going to be launching uh, an empty world. Yes, I don't want this uh, smart, smart grasping world with a lot of stuff. I'm going to leave an empty world with the hand. And uh, let's see, okay, nothing to change here. Okay, so basically I'm going to take out this line here, which launches controllers for the arm, for the universal robot. And I'm going to take out as well these three lines here, which are also related to the arm and not to the hand. Okay? These are all controllers for the arm, as you can see. Okay? So I'm going to comment this. I don't want it. You can comment it. You can uh, delete it directly as you want. Let's delete it. Great. So I have it. Now let's test if this works. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to select my new launch hand launch file, which is this one here, so let's select it and run it, and let's see what happens.
And here it is. Whoop, sorry. Uh, here it is. So here I have my three finger gripper. Okay? Here it is. And now of course you can you can create them with package of this hand, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to very quickly show with Erkuti that this is completely working. So let's open here a graphical tools window. And this this platform here is the table I have defined it in the URDF, if you remember. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's come here. Okay, I don't want this. Let's open a Robot Tools Joint Trajectory Controller. And here you can select the controller manager and the hand controller. There we have it. Now just activate it. And now here you can control the different joints. So as you can see now the hand is closed. But for instance, you can move this. Uh, slider here and as you can see the one of the fingers goes up you can also control this one and this one and all three fingers will open here you have it yeah you have also this uh, final part of the finger which you can you can also control you can move it up using this to here. There you have it. Okay. And so yeah, these are basically the, the joints to control the hand and you can do whatever you want with them. You can create a script that controls them, whatever you want. Okay. So yeah, this is the basic steps, very, very simple and easy steps in order to have a 3D finger gripper uh, working in, in Gazebo. Yeah, you can, if you want, also you can launch the wall environment, which is the regular launch file. Let's send, test it very uh, quickly, which is the regular launch simulation launch file. If you run this launch file, Here it is. You will have the, the full environment with the gripper, the three finger gripper, here it is, attached to a universal robot, yeah? You have also here a Kinect in order to visualize the room, whatever, okay? So you can have the two possibilities, the full environment with the gripper attached to a hand and just the three finger gripper if you just want that. I have also created this uh, launch hand file that launches just the, the three finger gripper in an empty world, okay? So, well, I hope this has helped you and, well, if you have liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!